Let's examine this study by Chastetica, number 1893. Material is even, but black has a pawn on b2 that is about to promote. White's knight on g3 and black's knight on b7 are both in a position to be captured as well. What happens if white does the obvious and captures this knight? Well then, after black promotes to queen with check and white intervenes, bishop to e4, bishop captures b7, bishop captures b1, king captures g3, and now material is even. And so is the position more or less. So this leads to a draw. Yet, there is a way for white to win in this position. I'll show you now through some analysis. Okay, so white wins by playing the unusual move knight to f5. What happens if black promotes now? Well, the knight blocks the automatic check that would otherwise have happened upon black's promotion, and that allows rook to h4 mate immediately. So black obviously cannot promote the pawn. Black needs to capture this knight. So white sacrifices a knight, but not so fast. White now plays bishop to g4 check, forking the rook and the king. After king to g3, bishop captures f5. And wouldn't you know it, the bishop now guards the promotion square on b1. Now if here, knight captures a7, well then a captures b7, and black is in a lot of trouble. So in this position, black might play knight to e7, threatening the bishop. And here, white has a variety of options, bishop to b1, or even playing it a bit more dangerously, a captures b7, and here black must be careful because if knight captures f5, well then b8, queen, check, and as you can see from the analysis, mate will soon follow. So black will probably capture this pawn, and then white plays bishop to b1, and white has a rook, bishop, knight, pawn against bishop, knight, and two pawns. White's position is also better. Looking back at the original position, do you think you would have made the right move here? There's only one move that would have won this game for you. One or two others would have led to a draw probably, and just about everything else loses. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.